BJ Mafia was popping. So the Boston Celtics will be taking on the Orlando Magic tonight at the Amway Center. And while the Magic are up 2-1 in this series and they want to win this season series 3-1, that's not even the big news with the game tonight. Not Jason Tatum playing at an MVP level, not the Orlando Magic playing very well against the Boston Celtics this year. It's the return of forward Jonathan Isaac. And this is huge news for Magic fans, I think NBA fans, and really just the Orlando Magic as a whole. Now, Jonathan Isaac, forward from Florida State University, has really had an up and down career with his time in Orlando. He's dealt with an immense amount of injuries. But Jonathan Isaac, when he's been on the court, you've seen the potential and the ceiling to which Jonathan Isaac possesses, especially on the defensive side of the ball. And Jonathan Isaac has not played in an NBA game in 904 days, and he's gonna be playing back in action tonight versus the Boston Celtics. Obviously in some limited minutes, he's gotta get his conditioning all the way back up and really just get used to the physicality of the NBA game again. But I'm extremely excited to see what Jonathan Isaac can not only do tonight, but really just for the rest of the season moving forward, if he can stay healthy, which is the big if, when it comes to Jonathan Isaac, when we've seen his past injury history. But let me kind of break this video down into two separate parts. Let me kind of get into this first topic. So the first topic I really wanna get into is with what Jonathan Isaac has done actually with his time in the NBA and his time with the Orlando Magic. Now, since 2017, since coming in, of the league we've seen what Jonathan Isaac can be when he's on the court and then there's a lot of potential still there remaining left when Jonathan Isaac's on the court he's a phenomenal defensive player I think a top five defender in the game this guy can switch one through five he's extremely versatile extremely athletic and he runs the break exceptionally well while his three-point shot has not always been there he's developed it and from the last time we have seen Jonathan Isaac he has done a significantly better job with that and the last time we did see Jonathan Isaac was back in the 2019 and 2020 season and then he obviously got injured in the bubble during the COVID year. But the last time we saw Jonathan Isaac on the court in 34 games in the 2019-2020 season, J.I. was averaging 11.9 points per game, 6.8 rebounds, 2.3 blocks, and 1.6 steals per game. He was leading the race as at least a top three candidate alongside Rudy Gobert for the Defensive Player of the Year candidate race. And I think he was absolutely deserving of that. And we know the kind of defensive prowess that he's gonna bring to this Orlando Magic team, a different level of grit and energy that I think is desperately needed. Now, kind of getting into the second topic, I wanna to talk about what Jonathan Isaac can actually bring to this Orlando Magic team right now. Now, I'm gonna kind of go out on a limb, but I don't think it's that too much of a limb, saying that even if Jonathan Isaac's gonna be 110% healthy this year or for the future of this team moving forward, I don't really ever see him becoming a full-time starter again, right? I think that opportunity is long and gone, especially when we've seen the injury history from Jonathan Isaac. Is he still going to have a huge role with this team moving forward if he continues to develop? Absolutely. But I think it's going to have to come in big minutes off the bench because the Magic already have a lot of great pieces that are extremely versatile as well too. But when you talk about the potential of having a six foot ten and above five-man lineup that can absolutely run the floor. These guys can space the floor. They're all extremely versatile and, and athletic. When you're talking about a potential five-man lineup with Jonathan Isaac, Franz at the point guard position, you got Bancaro in the front court, Bol Bol and Wendell Carter Jr. You have extreme versatility on all sides of the ball. All of these guys can switch. These guys can all put the ball on the deck. We've seen that a lot of times this year from Bol Bol. We know Wendell can do some things. Obviously, Bancaro and Franz and J.I. is great in the fast break and sometimes in the half court setting as well too. Like a lot of Magic fans have fantasized about this since the moment we've drafted Franz and we've seen the production and how much he has grown since last season. Now that we have Ben Carroll, like there's an endless amount of possibilities that Jamal Mosley, the Magic's head coach, can throw out there for opposing teams. And Jonathan Isaac's gonna be another piece of that puzzle that will continue to develop. And if he does stay healthy, this is gonna be a great, Thing for the Magic moving forward, and I just look forward to what Jonathan Isaac can bring to this team. Now, before I do end this video, I do want to kind of wrap this up and kind of give my final thoughts, and I do want to make sure that I drive home the point that this video is still about Jonathan Isaac really returning for the first time in 904 days and him getting an opportunity to play NBA basketball tonight versus the Boston Celtics. Everybody's going to be tuned in, and I wish I could be at the game tonight. I can't, unfortunately, but I do want to say that this is great for Magic fans having this peace of mind because Magic fans have had this huge divide these last two and a half, three years since J.I. has played basketball, questioning, does this guy actually love the game of basketball? We all understood that he got injured, but there was consistently setbacks with him, and we weren't sure what was going on with the Magic organization, maybe the training staff, or if J.I. was consistently making up excuses for why he couldn't play. Watching him go to the G League, play really well in those three games with the Lakeland Magic, it really just brought a sense of peace for a lot of Magic fans, and I do want to say that 
he got a big contract from the Magic, right? And the Magic, we all understand we're not a finals contending team. We're not there yet. It's going to take some years for really this entire core to still come together. But I need J.I. to stay healthy, right? I don't wish ill intent on any player, no NBA player, and especially guys on my own team, right? I just think a lot of Magic fans are consistently tired of seeing J.I. on the sideline, even though it's due to injury. Since his time coming into the league in 2017, it was just so stressful watching this guy play 20, 30 games a season. And this is hopefully his opportunity where he can stay healthy the rest of his career. And hopefully this thing can get going in the right direction because I think a lot of Magic fans really want to see if he can unlock his full potential. And especially with the squad, and especially with the versatility and the length that I talked about, this Magic team can be dangerous moving forward, especially if J.I. unlocks his full potential. But Magic fans, NBA fans, Celtics fans that are even in here watching this video, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure you guys let me know what do you guys make of Jonathan Isaac and his return tonight and also just moving forward for the Magic in general. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, man, make sure you guys drop me a thumbs up. It takes one second and it helps me and the channel out tremendously. And if you guys are new here, consider hitting that subscribe bell to stay tuned for more NBA and Jaguars content that I do here on YouTube. And make sure you guys go follow me on my socials, especially on Twitter. I'm very active and I'm on there every single day. The link tree will be in the description down below. But thanks again for sticking around throughout the whole video. Brett James, AKA BJ, I'm out y'all. Go Magic, baby. Peace.